Hi guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna be trying out the Sephora collection. These are called Lip Blush Blotted Matte Lipsticks and they came in 12 different shades within this collection that they launched. And I've got my hands on five different lip shades we're gonna be trying on it today. They are running for $12. And in case you didn't know, it's vegan. It's supposed to have a moussey texture. It's supposed to be non-drying. And it's supposed to be really creamy and comfortable on the lips with a soft finish to it as well. So I'm really excited to see what they're all about. We're gonna try every single one of these shades and we're just gonna see you know what's a scent like what's a doe foot applicator like I do notice that a lot of products at Sephora that they launch are not as highly reviewed and I've actually never really tried any of their products because of that because I'm like I don't really know how I feel about it we'll see but I'm really excited to test them out for myself today and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything of course will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed here to my channel I love to do makeup tutorials reviews and unboxings here so I hope you all enjoy Let's dive on in and try these out. The first lip shade we're gonna go ahead and try on. This one is called Cuddle Time Number no. Eleven, and this is described as a mauvey lip shade. So far, by the way, I do really like the packaging. It does have a matte finish to it. You are receiving 0.12 fluid ounces, and you do get a doe applicator, which I personally love. It has like a slight angle on each side of the doe applicator. It does feel really nice and spongy. That I feel like you'll pick up enough product that you can apply an even amount throughout your lips. As for the texture of this matte lipstick, it does really feel moussey and creamy, which I personally love. I've already quickly swatched a little bit of this product on the back of my hand, and it doesn't feel over dried. It does take a moment for it to dry down, but I'll let you guys know how it feels on our lips once we get to that point. But the shade, it does look pretty, pretty much like a deep mauve. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but I'm sure that this is something that you can easily blot on your lips to kind of dilute the pigmentation. But I feel like you can never go wrong with the mauve. This is perfect for like everyday type of a lip color, like a perfect everyday lip color. As of for a scent, so far I don't pick up a scent to these matte lipsticks, but I will let you know if if I pick up something, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna quickly move the lip combo that I currently have on and then we'll jump on in and try on cuddle time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start on the side of my lip. And then I'm gonna use a flat edge to line my lips and so far it feels really velvety and soft feels really creamy and I honestly don't really feel like I have anything on which is a big plus because when it comes to matte lip colors you can easily feel over drying and can really get crusty or at least it can enhance the lines in your lips and sometimes you don't really want that you want something that's really light and comfortable to wear so I've given it a minute for it to really settle in and <laughs> dry down. And it feels, like I mentioned you guys before, just on the application, it feels really comfortable and honestly doesn't feel like I have anything on. It feels really silky and like creamy and soft, but at the same time, it does give you that matte finish. I actually like the pigmentation to cuddle time, honestly. By the swatch in the back of my hand, I thought it was a little too deep for my liking, but I actually like it on. It's a really pretty shade. It feels really like neutral to me. And I personally really like it. I can actually see myself wearing this. And it was really easy to use a little doe applicator to line my lips. And I feel like it's really nice and spongy, like I thought and mentioned to you guys before, that I felt like it picked up enough product that literally with one application or one dip into the tube, you're able to apply an even amount on your lips. So I personally really like the shade. What do you guys think? Going on into our second lip shade. This is number 10, and this is described as a nude brown lip color, and it is called Bear Suede, which I find it to be like a really sexy <laughs> name for a lip color, and it is so pretty. It did apply on a little patchy, swatching it on the back of my hand so far, but obviously we'll see if there's like a difference, if it's easier to apply on on our lips, so I'll keep you guys posted when it comes to that, but I personally really love this lip shade. I feel like these are lip colors that I've been wearing on route the entire winter season. I've just been really loving like a deep chocolate brown type of lip color like this. It is so, so pretty. I've been really enjoying something a little bit more pigmented. You guys are here on my channel. I always wear a nude lip combo, but so far lately, I've just been really enjoying something a little different, a little bit more pigmented. This fall winter season, comment down below what kind of lip combos you've been enjoying this fall winter season. I'd really love to know. But anyways, let's go ahead and dive on in. I feel like I'm rambling. And apply on this lip shade. And 
So far, so far it's looking really, really good. I love the undertone to this. It's like the perfect nude, like how pretty is that? And so far I don't see any patchiness, which is a big plus, but we're gonna see. And press my lips together and then lightly. And this is basically it, super easy again. Love the creamy texture, moussey texture to this lip color. It just feels really comfortable. Let me give you an up close clip of how this lip shade looks as well so you guys can see for yourself. Comment down below on your thoughts. What do you guys think? Next is lip shade number 12. And this is described on their website as a Coralie lip shade. And this is called Pillow Fight. How cute. Love the name. It is so nice. And I love this lip color. And personally, I'm not a huge fan of corally lip colors, but swatching on the back of my hand so far, it is really pretty. It's really unique. It's not too bright or too pinky of an undertone. I just personally really like it so far. So I'm really excited to try it out. I feel like this is a perfect shade if you want something that's going to give you a little pop of color. And I personally like the neutral undertone. I feel like this will complement so many different skin complexions. And I feel like a corally lip color is perfect for the spring summertime you know i'm really excited for the spring summertime we've had so much rain here out in LA, and i have been losing my voice so many times that i'm really excited for a little for a little change in the weather just because it's been raining so much it's been so cold and windy out here anyways i digress let's go ahead and try on this lip color and i'm just going to start from the corner of the mouth and then use a the flat edge again to line my lips as you guys can see it only took like a few seconds to apply on so it's really convenient so far and i personally love that especially if you're on the go and you just want something really easy to apply on it's going to give you a little bit of color that's going to make you look a little bit more put together i personally like it so far i don't notice any patchiness for on my lips and I feel like it's a really pretty flattening color so so far so good I think we're moving on to our fourth lip shade I, I don't know why I feel like I'm losing track but this is lip shade number four from what I understand and this is actually lip shade number one it's called cashmere kiss and described on their website as a warm brown lip shade and you guys it is exactly like that is a beautiful warm brown I feel like it's giving me like terracotta pecan like pumpkin spice vibes it is so pretty I love the new undertone to it so I feel like it will work really well for many different skin complexions it did apply on a little little bit patchy but we'll see once we apply it on maybe it will just be easier to apply on our lips than swatching in the back of our hand who knows but I feel like this is a perfect everyday type of lip shade like it's pigmented but not too pigmented all at the same time that you can easily wear this day or night which is a perfect because you have the option and you can easily obviously with any of these lip colors play around with different type of lip liners to kind of amp up or nude down the lip combo of your choice or the pigmentation of this lip shade so I'm going to go ahead and apply this lip color on and as always I'm going to start in the corner and then work my way through and honestly, you guys, I'm super surprised I'm able to talk and apply this on at the same time. This is like the first time I've ever done this. <laughs> so I'm really excited. And I hope I don't look crazy applying this on at the same time. But this is basically it. As you can tell, it's a really pretty lip shade. I love the undertone to it. I love the creamy consistency. I don't feel like it enhances the lines to my lips, which says a lot because this lip shade's a little bit more pigmented than, you know, maybe the first two that we've applied on from what I remember. <laughs> but so far, it's really, really pretty. Let's move on to lip shade number five. The last and final lip shade we're going to go ahead and try on, which I'm so, so sad. We're at the end of this video, girl, because I've been really enjoying swatching these lip shades just because they have all worked well so far and this is lip shade number seven it is called a blown kiss it is described on their website as an antique pink lip shade and i personally really love it coming from someone who is not a big fan of like pinky mauvey lip shades this one definitely has grabbed my attention i'm really excited to test this out i feel like it is not too pink and too loud it has a perfect neutral undertone to it that i just feel like it's just like a perfect everyday type of lip shade that it gives you enough a pop of color without being too bright and vibrant which that i am all about i don't want something too vibrant i want something like a neutral in between you know what i mean like subtle <laughs> if that makes any sense so i'm gonna go ahead and dive on in and apply on this lip shade and 
so far it's lighting on effortlessly comment down below what are you thinking so far i'm gonna press my lips together but it is a really pretty color as you can tell it just glided on effortlessly it's really creamy and so far it's actually a really pretty lip shade i actually really like it even on my lips and so far, so good. So this is basically it, you guys. Comment down below your thoughts. For $12, is it worth it? To be really honest, I feel like it is. $12, I feel like it's a reasonable price point. I feel like you can find price points like this at the drugstore. And I love the packaging too. It's like really playful and fun. Whatever the lip shade you're getting, it really does, I feel like, match what you are getting inside the little tube. I do love the Digital for Applicator. I love that it has like a slight slant on each side of it. And I love the flat edge that it has that you can really use it to line your lips. The sponge is really nice and spongy. So it picks up more than enough product for you to apply on. And I love the option that you can kind of flip to the other side of the angle and apply on a second layer if you really want it to be a little bit more pigmented. But so far, so good. I love that it doesn't have a scent. I love that it's vegan. It is really creamy. It does have a moussey texture to it. And it just really does feel comfortable on the lips. It does have a matte finish, but I feel like it's not over drying as well, which is a big plus to me because a lot of matte lipsticks tend to be over drying that you almost feel like you need to apply on a gloss over and this one for some reason does not it feels really comfortable it feels really velvety soft and it feels like you don't have anything on whatsoever out of all five lip shades to be honest I don't have a favorite I think they're all really really pretty and they all have a really neutral undertone I'm not sure if it's that's how they made the entire collection or if it's just lip shades that somehow I picked for myself that they just I feel like worked really well but overall I personally really like them I definitely feel like this is something worth trying out and just seeing for yourself and I personally really like that I got to try this out for myself and got to try something new so I hope you all enjoyed today's video everything will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always I will see you all in my next video I love you all so so much